just like space cannot be polluted by clouds means you cannot you cannot obscure space the clouds the earth the solar system the galaxies you cannot cut flow i mean you cannot cut space you cannot burn space space always pure and clean always there the nature of space is always pure and clean so awareness like that <clears throat> and this way you automatically eliminate suffering why because normally our mind totally relying on outer materials form sound smell taste sensation five and even thought and emotions is not material but thought and emotion is also bambi and these all phenomena the form sound smell thought uh, emotion is like always come and go and come and go like when you are driving on the bambi road because the bambi road the road is no good then you bum also boom 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 because you are relying on the bambi road of course you bum same if you rely on the phenomena which is always changing impermanence depend on the circumstances then your mind is then your happiness become like stock market ups and downs and ups and downs but actually awareness is like space is always with you so if you can stay with your own awareness then your happiness not become up and down if 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 you can if you stay with the cloud and you become up and down you know some days nice cloud some day no cloud some day bad cloud with hurricane or tornado or typhoon you know and some days very beautiful you know nice a uh, cloud this so is it change all the time but if you stay with the space doesn't change this way what we call you will achieve freedom of the mind as i mentioned before our mind is like flag in the wind it's always blow here and there there's no control there's no no free no freedom and what is the meaning of achieving freedom of mind for example you don't want to be angry but the anger comes you don't want to be upset but upset you don't want to be depressed but depressed you don't want to be um worry too much but then worry comes sometime you know so what, normally mind or mind almost to the opposite if you want to do something but then always try to come the, the other direction you know that's the what we call uh the that's the that's that's what we call not free your mind doesn't have freedom how to free from that only you know how to deal with the mind how to practice with the mind otherwise if you try to achieve the real freedom the inner freedom looking for the outer material things outer phenomena doesn't help so how to achieve this freedom through practice of awareness and then your mind automatically calm peaceful pliable walkable what we call walkable pliable pliability and walkability the peaceful joyful spacious these are the experience of meditation but not the essence of meditation the essence of meditation is awareness but of course from beginning is very difficult as not only for you for me also but as you practice more and more it's better and better and 